All right, so I've decided to make a little tutorial on how to draw compressor wheels for turbochargers. Haven't found any good tutorials out there. All of the other ones I've seen, they don't really look too nice, and they don't really look like what you'd find on an actual turbocharger. So here I am showing you how to do one. Uh, so basically, you want to start drawing on the front plane. Uh, draw a nice little center line down the middle for reference and for the revolve that we're going to make in a second. Um, so basically, um, I want to set the height of my compressor wheel first by this line uh, parallel to the, or coincident with the center line I just drew, so that's going to be 50 millimeters. I'm not really drawing this based on a real compressor wheel, just uh, to my dimensions. I'm going to make it 44 45 let's say so it's 90 millimeter exducer 45 radius on that on the top I'm gonna make the center roughly let's say seven millimeters and then I'm gonna make an arc right here actually no that's not right all right let's make a this is for a super back compressor wheel I'm just doing this little extra thing here so I'm gonna do four millimeters here just cuz a uh, super back compressor wheel basically the bottom isn't the base isn't flat it has a little um, has a little arc here if that makes sense to make the back of the compressor wheel uh, if you know turbos you'll know what I'm talking about but yeah basically uh, that's just gonna be my profile for my center cone and we're going to do a revolved boss base should create this if not you got to select your axis of revolution as the center line here and then you have to have your closed profile there so there's our center cone that's very basic um, that's how it looks from the side there's no super back profile yet I'm gonna revolve cut that later so next thing you want to do is create a plane on the bottom so reference geometry plane and then make it zero, zero millimeters spaced away from the bottom so it's like that and then I'm gonna wanna view the bottom face like so um, and now all we have to do is select this plane uh, we can do a three point arc this is very rough if you wanna make a really nice looking compressor wheel you're gonna have to um, do it a bit differently. You're gonna have to actually measure everything. I'm just kind of drawing this free-handed. So this right here is gonna be the curve of the bottom of the blade. So the part that um, scoop well, in this case it doesn't scoop air in. It kind of throws air out to the side. So you want to make it curved like this. Um, so yeah, that's about good. And then the next line here, I'll make a line just to make it proper dimension uh, just do it like this so this line here specifies the thickness of the blade at the bottom so I'm gonna do a 1.5 millimeter thick blade so I'm just gonna do 1.5 millimeters here too it's not exact by any means but you get the principle So basically I can draw another arc right here and make that roughly the same. If you want you can draw other lines in between here just to make it more exact. But that's basically it for the bottom. So that's the blade profile for the bottom. Very simple. Back to isometric view here. That's how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the sketch. Um, so right now we want to make another plane for the top which is going to be right here. We want to make it right up against the top again and then we can view it from the top view. Now right here you want to, the top of a compressor wheel, the blades, the edges are usually squared, like they're squared off, they're not curved like at the bottom. So you can just use a rectangle, it's uh, very easy. So yeah, we're drawing on plane number two. I'm just going to go ahead and make it right up to the edge because we're going to revolve cut this entire thing after. And the thickness at the top, I'm going to make it like 0.8 millimeters. 
very, very small. Oops, I messed that up. So for this line, you want to take the relations out. Um, want to remove the vertical, vertical here. Don't want any relations for these lines because I just want to free, free, um, free drag it essentially. So coincident for this point. Delete that. Um, delete the horizontal there. We want this point coinc coincident because we want it to rotate around the axis. But I'm just going to drag it around like this just because it's easy. This point here will automatically coincide with the edge there. And yeah, so I'm just dragging it like that just to make it relatively the right angle away from the bottom. So once that's done, you can exit the sketch again. And then for here, this is where you're actually drawing the blade profile. Um, the blade, I don't know how to put it, the, the loft of the blade, if that makes any sense. So I'm doing a 3D sketch with, um, hang on, I keep exiting it. So 3D sketch with an arc. I'm just gonna draw a line from this point right up to this point here. And it's basically gonna be a nice curve like that. You can see that there. This isn't very exact. You can draw it on a plane. You can make a plane that you can draw this arc on to make it precise, but you don't have to. This is just the way I like to do it just for, well, this is tutorial purposes. But um, I'm gonna exit that sketch here. Now we're gonna go to lofted boss base and it already selected this line as a guide curve. So we can select the bottom profile here and then the top profile. And it should draw us a nice blade like that, a nice loft. So once you have that and you're happy with it, you can finish it. And that's one of your blades. So to do the rest of the blades, you wanna click that blade and then go to circular pattern and then I'm just gonna re-show my um, my sketch one. Well, I did that too soon, but basically what I did there is I selected sketch one because that had a setter line as a revolve base for the blades. This is only a six blade. I want it to be a 12 blade, so I'll do that again. So selecting the features and faces, loft one for our circular pattern and then parameters right there for the axis of rotation we want to show this axis so right now I'm selecting this center line right here so it's going to revolve around that center line and then basically I want 12 blades so I'm going to type in 12 here 360 degrees of rotation and then there are our compressor blades so now to get the actual shape of a compressor wheel, what you have to do is go to front view and then I like to do section view and cut it in half. Um, and right here you can actually draw the profile of the blade you want to cut, like revolve cut out of this drawing right here. So you can select the front plane to draw on. And then basically you're going to draw all the parts that you want to cut out of the drawing. So like I was saying before, this is going to be a super back blade. So the bottom base, uh, let's say, let's say eight millimeters here. And then this is going to curve up to about, notice I'm sitting, being really approximate. This is about here. Um, we don't want to revolve cut this spot right here. Actually, maybe we do. We want to make the blade stick out a bit. So I'm going to do it to about there. I'm going to draw this line up to about uh, right here. And then I'm going to draw another center line or draw another line with the center line draw it out to about here 
draw another one slightly down so the blades don't go all the way to the edge. I'm gonna draw this line to about, okay, hang on, let's just see how wide this is actually gonna be. So that's gonna be, so I want it to be about 60 millimeters, so it's 30 out, it's right about there. Again, this is very approximate. This isn't how you should actually draw um, a real compressor wheel if you're actually going to machine it. And here is our curve for our blade profile. Again, and then in order to cut this out, we need to draw a line like that. Go all the way around, come down, go to here, and then connect it with the thing. So basically we're cutting all of this stuff out in this area. So I don't even have to exit that sketch, I'm just going to go straight to Revolved Cut. And select Axis again, right there. Selected Contours, this. And then there we go. Select just that region, and then it's going to select the circumference, or not the circumference, it's going to select the uh, 360 degree shape of what we drew here. I apologize if I'm not making any sense, but yeah. So basically, that's our cutout compressor wheel. It's uh, it looks kind of weird. It's not really the exact shape that you'd want. But um, it's got extended tips. This is really useful for modern compressor wheels because it gives more flow. Um, so yeah, basically that's that. Um, another thing that I'm going to do is on this plane at the bottom, I'm just going to draw a circle to extrude as um, the shaft um, hole where well the hole where the shaft goes through essentially so I guess I'll make that around three millimeters in radius so six in diameter and then I'm gonna do extruded cut and then through all and then there we go there's our hole in the top of the compressor and then I'm gonna hide the planes I'm going to hide all my drawings just so you can see that better and basically there's a compressor wheel just like that very easy to draw okay so here's a better drawing of a compressor wheel this one actually has 6 plus 6 blades instead of just 12 to draw this basically you do um, you know how I did the one uh, blade profile just the top plane and then the bottom you can make another plane in the center and then you can draw another arc on the bottom and another flat spot here and then do that um, you can also fillet the edges like I did here to make it real nice and aerodynamic um, you can also do a lot of other cuts this is just the prototype wheel so yeah there's a lot of ways to do it if you need any help uh, you can comment below or whatever I'm not really a pro at SolidWorks, but uh, I learned how to draw compressed wheels on my own, and I feel like a lot of people could benefit from this video. Alright, so thanks for watching.